my Marvin, the tap dancing horse. He can dance, he can dance, he can dance. Just shine that spotlight on me. Every show must have a star. He can dance, he can dance, he can dance, he can dance. Go down, I'm ready to perform. This is my home up on the stage. I'll dance for you, and we'll perform for you too. I'm Marvin the Tap Dancing Horse. I'll never get this off. What's the matter, Stripes? Look at the mess on my cage, Eddie. Somebody left their candy floss stuck to it. Why don't I spray it off for you with the water hose? Would you? Sure. I'll have it done uh, in no time. Uh, once I get it there. And the sooner it gets there, the sooner I can have it back. Camp Town ladies sing this song. Do da, do da. Camp Town racetrack five miles long. Oh, do da day. Gonna run all night. Gonna run all day. I'll bet my money on a bobtailed nag. Hey, Marvin, I need the water hose to clean Stripe's cage. Won't be a minute, Eddie. I came down there with my hat caved in. Do da. Do -da. I'll be back, back after he's finished singing his doodahs. Oh, do day. Gonna run all night, gonna run all day. Hey, Eddie, could you dispense a little shampoo, please? Sure. Eddie, I think you'd better take care of Stripe's cage. I can wait until you're finished. Maybe you can wait, but it's getting impatient. <gasps> That's what I need. There, that ought to hold it. Oh dear, I need one more. Hmm. Ah! ah! Eddie, I've got soap in my eyes. Don't panic, I'll get you a towel. Thanks, Eddie. I'll just rinse off and the hose is all yours. Good. I don't want to keep Stripes waiting too long for his care. <gasps> ah! Sorry, Eddie. Did you say... Oh! oh, no! I'm coming, Eddie! It's a lovely little garden, Elizabeth. Oh, thank you. I do enjoy being creative with rocks. <gasps> oh! Oh! Thunder? Strange, it wasn't in the forecast. Stripes! Look out! Look out? Look out! I can't look! Oh, no! My home. Calm down, Elizabeth. Yes, everything is going to be all right. All right? How do you figure that? Uh, what I mean is... Tell him what I mean, Marvin. Well, because you've got friends. Yes, and? Uh, 
And when you've got friends, they... Uh... They fix your cage! Don't they? I guess we could try. Um, with all of us working together, I'm sure we can fix it. So, which pieces do we start with? You know, it's getting kind of late in the day to start a job like this. We should start in the morning when we're fresh. Yes, yes, I agree. Right. That settles it then. Hold on. What about stripes? My feelings exactly, Eddie. I need a place to sleep. You can stay with me. It'll be fun having a roommate. Really? Oh, thanks, Marvin. Make yourself at home, Stripes. Me tent, a Sioux tent, as they say in, uh, um, somewhere. Marvin, there's something I have to tell you. Ah, 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 there's no need for thank yous. I wasn't going to say thank you. I was going to tell you I'm allergic to straw. Achoo! Oh, you've got to clear this out of here. Achoo! Achoo! But this is my bed. Well, it is for a friend, and it's only for tonight. <sighs> Good night, Stripes. Good night, Marvin. Good night, Mr. Grizzly. Stripes, is that you? It's my stomach. I didn't have my bedtime snack. Bedtime snack? Graham critters. Extra crunchy. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> oh. What's that? Relax, Marvin. It's just my jungle sounds. They help me sleep. <sighs> Good night, Stripes. Marvin? Good morning, Stripes. How about some breakfast? You go ahead. I'm not feeling too hungry this morning. Suit yourself. A good sleep deserves a good breakfast, I always say. See you later. Yeah, later. Finally. Now I can get some rest. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello, Marvin. Good morning, Marvin. How'd you sleep last night? I've discovered I don't sleep well in strange places. Where did you sleep? Well, it sounded like the Congo, but felt more like the Rockies. Oh, was that ground hard? What happened to the fresh straw I gave you? Well, it was making Stripe sneeze, so I had to move it outside. Didn't you tell him it was your bed? He's my guest. I wanted him to feel comfortable. Well, don't worry. We'll have his cage finished by tonight, and everything will be back to normal. Ta-da! You did it! I'll never forget this wonderful moment. Jack will be very proud of us. We even have some wood left over. We do? Yes, two pieces. See? Diamonds? Those are the axles. Are they important? They support the cage. Oh. Well, we'd better get back to work. And I'd better have a talk with my roommate. Stripes, this tent just isn't big enough for the two of us. No, sounds too harsh. Listen, Stripes, you'd be much happier in the staff tent. It's so roomy. Yeah, that's it. Stripes, I... Stripes? Gotcha, roomie. 
Isn't this fabulous, Marvin? Oh. I've wanted to decorate my place like this for so long. Thanks again for sharing your tent with me. You really are my best friend. Huh. Uh. Morning, everyone. Morning, Marvin. Was last night any better? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Huh? Beg your pardon? We think you're the best friend ever. Well, for two nights I've been the best friend ever, but now that you're finished Stripe's cage, everything will be back to normal. Um, why is Stripe's cage up on blocks? Well, Jack ordered some new wheels. They'll be here in two weeks. Two weeks? Two wow. weeks? If you think I'm living with Stripes for two whole weeks, you're crazy! No, wait, listen, Marvin. Do you know what I have to put up with? First, it's... Uh, can you get rid of all your straw? Oh, sure, it's only my bed, but that's what best friends do. Oh, dear. Marvin? I'm not done, Elizabeth. But... And my... then it's crunch, crunch, crunch for half an hour while he eats his graham critters in bed. But do I complain? No, because we're best friends. And then it's jungle sounds all night. And then the snoring. And can I get to sleep? No. But do I complain? No, because we're best friends. If I was bothering you, why didn't you just tell me? I really didn't mean... And I thought we were best friends. Some best friend you turned out to be. Me? What about you? Me? What about you? Hey, hold it, you two. Listen, we all know you guys are best friends, right? Right. But if you're best friends, you've got to tell each other how you really feel about things, right? Right? Right. That's better. I'm sorry, Stripes. From now on, I'll tell you how I feel. And so will I. Good. So if Stripes doesn't mind where his cage is parked, he can sleep right here. That's what I was trying to tell you, Marvin. Oops, I do go on sometimes, don't I? Uh, no offense, Marvin, but I think I'll sleep in my own cage. To be honest, it smells better. Oh, well, I'm glad you're being honest. Well, to show you there are no hard feelings, I'll help you move your things. Thanks, you really are a friend. Oh! <laughs> What's wrong, Elizabeth? They're friends again. I know. I just love a happy ending. <laughs> oh, 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 what did I do to deserve this aching tooth? Oh. Hey, Stripes! Huh? I've got something for you! <gasps> Hello, Stripes. Here's a snack for the world's most ferocious tiger. Oh. Well? Uh, thanks. But aren't you gonna eat it? Or devour it in the blink of an eye, the way you usually do? I'll eat it later. I I'm reading something. Gee, it must be pretty interesting. What is it? Let me guess. Half-price chicken sale? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I said I'd eat it later. I'll eat it later. Will you leave me alone? Uh, sure, Stripes. No problem. Okay. We'll see you later. <sighs> I'd say someone got up on the wrong side of their cage. He's been crankier than usual, and he's not eating as much either. I wonder what his problem is. What's that? It's the call of the wild, Eddie. I was afraid of this. What? Stripes is showing early signs of jungle fever. Jungle fever? Shh! You mean like hunting? and pouncing and clawing and... 
Well, what do you think those sharp teeth are for? Oh, no. Eddie, you look pale. You're not sick, are you? No, I'm okay. It's Stripes. Stripes? What's the matter with him? He's got jungle fever. Jungle fever? Oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. Calm down. This is no time to start panicking. What Stripes needs right now are some kind words of support. <gasps> Who votes for doing it over the phone? Uh-oh. He's gone. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I think I'm going to scream. <gasps> Elizabeth, no. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves. That's right. We've got to find Stripes before he finds us. I'll go to the front gate and tell Jack. I'll go with you. Me too. Uh, I'll sneak over to the midway and warn Edna. Be careful, Eddie. Don't worry. I will. Edna, are you in there? Edna, watch out for Stripes. He's got jungle fever. I do not. Ah! That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Stripes, what are you doing in there? Uh, making some lemon ice. You don't even like lemon ice. It's for a friend. Who? Uh, Eddie, why do you have to ask so many difficult questions? Oh! What's the matter? Nothing. Huh? <gasps> yes. I've got a toothache. Why didn't you tell us? Because I don't like dentists and I don't want to see one. Have you ever met a dentist? Well, no, but I know they pull teeth and that's a good enough reason for me to keep my mouth shut. Oh, oh, oh. But you need help, Stripes. What I need is for you to stay quiet about this. Will you do that, Eddie? Please? All right. Thank you. Oh. Would you let me look at your teeth? Why? You're not thinking of becoming a dentist, are you? No, but maybe all you need is some dental floss. It might just be a stuck bit of popcorn or a chicken bone. Hmm. Oh. All right, but only dental floss. Only dental floss. Wider, please. Be careful. I'll be careful. Let's see here. Not over there, over here. Oh, upper or lower? Lower. Oh! There's no sign of stripes anywhere. We have to find him soon. There's no telling what he's capable of doing. Oh dear, I hope Eddie's all right. Oh! oh! Would you let go of my arm, Stripes? <laughs> I'll save you, Eddie! <laughs> <gasps> Thank goodness we got here in time. Did he hurt you, Eddie? No, but I think he hurt Stripes. Shame on you for trying to eat poor Eddie. What? No, he wasn't trying to eat me. There's no point defending him, Eddie. We know what we saw. He's got jungle fever. No, he doesn't. I was just flossing his teeth. Flossing his teeth? <laughs> Marvin, could you move your hoof, please? <laughs> Aren't you glad you don't have jungle fever? <laughs> <sighs> of all the silly notions, I... Oh! Ah! What's wrong, Stripes? If you really must know, I have a toothache. That's why he's been acting strange lately. It even hurts for him to eat. Oh, you poor thing. That's awful. I think you should go and see a dentist. Uh-oh. No dentist. I'm not going to see a dentist. He doesn't want to go to the dentist. Oh, dear. What can we do? If Stripes won't go to the dentist, there's not much we can do. Unless we bring the dentist to Stripes. Hmm. He has
has a bad toothache. No, he's never been to a dentist before. You see, he's a Bengal tiger. Hello? Hello? <sighs> well, there's another dentist we can cross off the list. And look, there's only one left who makes house calls. Let me try it this time, Eddie. Good luck. Yes, Dr. Yankum? I'd like to book an appointment, please. Oh, actually, it's not for me. It's for my friend from Bengal, Mr. Stripes. <laughs> This afternoon? Oh, that would be perfect. We look forward to seeing you too. Goodbye. What a pleasant fellow. Shouldn't you have told him that his patient is a tiger? What he doesn't know can't hurt him. I hope. Now, isn't that more comfortable than the floor of your cage? I like lying on my floor, and I don't like sitting on my tail. Oh! But this is better for your tooth. Just relax and give it a few more minutes, Stripes. It will make you feel better. Oh, all right. A few more minutes. I've never made a house call to a carnival before. Uh, quite colorful. Wait till you see your patient. Oh? Uh, yeah, Mr. Stripes is a performer. He's a very colorful character. Now, he may seem a little gruff, but don't let that bother you. He's really just a big pussycat. Oh. Come on in and I'll introduce you. Dr. Yankum, I'd like you to meet your patient. Oh, dear. Mr. Stripes. Savage dentist! A ferocious tiger! Let me out! He's not ferocious. Just look at him. Oh. He even has a teddy bear. See? No! Hmm. Bad example. Oh dear. This is a terrible way to treat a nice visitor. Nice visitor? He's a savage dentist. We'll never get anywhere if you two don't calm down and get to know each other. Some bees buzz but never sting, so you must consider everything that some dogs bark but never bite. I suppose you're right. Not all cacti grow to be prickly. And you see, I once met a skunk that smelled real nice. That's a surprise. Really? Yes. So everybody recognize that we can all be happy. It's easy once you realize there's good in everything. I suppose it wouldn't hurt if I just looked. <laughs> Great. Open up, Stripes. All right, I'll do it. But guard that black bag of his, Eddie. Ah, uh, yes, I see the problem. Problem? I knew it. He wants to pull my teeth out. No, 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 no. There'll be no need for that. It's just a cavity. All you need is a filling. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. Look, I got a couple of fillings. And it didn't even hurt. Eddie's right. And just think of all the chicken you can eat when your tooth is fixed. Chicken? I'll do it. I thought that might help. There. All done. What? You're done? That's it? That's it. My teeth are all there. And there's no more pain. Oh, thank you. Y you're welcome. Oh. I think you're squishing him, Stripes. Oh, sorry about that. I'm just so happy. And we are too. He's so gentle. Oh, I wish I had cavities to fill. I suppose I should be on my way. So soon? Can't you stay for dinner? Well, uh, I don't see why not. Oh, Eddie, 
Bring on the chickens and keep them coming. I've got a lot of catching up to do. 32 chickens coming right up. Well, Eddie, as usual, it's been an interesting day. Yeah. This morning, Stripes didn't even like dentists, and now he's having one for dinner. Oh? I thought he was having chicken. <laughs> oh, Marvin. Um.